Hello everyone, welcome back to Critics News. We are bringing you updates regularly. My officer Critics News, now they drop the info. Now as they proceed, they say that what did DSS Nigeria and the Nigerian government they do say no good? Say that they are denying the lawyers of Mazen Namdekano access to meeting him inside the DSS custody. And there is an upcoming court date where he needs to be defended properly. So why is the DSS doing this to this man? Remember that Binta Yaku has ruled that they should allow Mazen Namdekano's lawyers to have access to him at least three times in a week with maximum of three, five persons. But as it is now, it seems that the DSS has continued the flagrant disobedience. I mean, <laughs> I don't do English, go help me here. <laughs> the flagrant disobedience to court orders. Who does that? Who is the dozer of such? In case you are not sharing the videos for any reasons, just because of that English when I blow. <laughs> I'm not going to look at me with a grammar for here. Look at what we are talking about. It says Nigerian Secret Police, DSS, denying access to Nam the Kano ahead of June. 19 trial legal team kicks this is this is i don't know how to position this matter eh what kind of uh, punishment what kind of wickedness is that abba 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 nah, eh. may we see him may we see him now they say that the legal team of the detained leader of the indigenous people of biafra ipob who is in nam the Kano, has raised the alarm that the Nigerian Secret Police, which is the Department of State Services, DSS, has denied the team access to Kano to prepare him for the trial selected for June 19th and 20th. So this particular month, on 19th and 20th, Mazen Namde Kano is going to appear for trial in court, Abuja. The Lego team said this on Friday, after it was after it was at the DSS headquarters, saying such denial was such a flagrant disregard to the orders of the court and in desperate efforts to frustrate every prospect of fair trial for Mazen Nam de Kano. The Lego team disclosed this in a statement issued on Friday after it was denied access to meet with the IPOB leader who has been in detention since June 2021 after he was renditioned from Kenya to Nigeria. Titled, As the hearing date draws near, the DSS continues to hinder Namdekano's right to fair trial and signed by a lawyer, Jimako Esquire, for the legal team. The team described the disobedience of a subsisting court order by the DSS as a symbolic of what has become an executive self in indictment of the trial that the government itself and the court insist must take place. As the next hearing of trial of Mazen Namdekano's case approaches, um, scheduled for 19th and 20th of June 2024 looms close, the State Security Services DSS continues on its infamous path of frustrating every prospect of fair trial for Mazen Namdekano, the statement noted. Today, being 14th June 2024, the DSS once again exhibited its vested disrespect for the judicial pronouncement when it, in disobedience of court order, refused Mazen Namdekano's legal team to meet with him as a team altogether to prepare him for the said hearing stroke trial commencing on 19th June 2024. The DSS insisted that members of the legal team, including the undersigned counsel, must meet with Kano separately or we must leave the premises. For this reason, Mazen Nam, the Kano's team of lawyers, left the DSS facility without seeing him, a situation that will surely complicate the hearing on 19th June. The, this latest disobedience of subsisting court order by the DSS is symbolic of what has become an exec executive self-indictment of the trial that the government itself and the court insist must take place. The legal team warned that they will resist any trial that is against the tenet of the constitution 
wondering why the, uh, the Attorney General of the, and the Minister of Justice, AGF, still bent on prosecuting the case when the government could not obey a simple court order that is directly geared to giving them the trial they so much desire. If they do not obey a simple court order that is directly geared to giving them the trial they so much desire, why then is the AGF still bent on prosecuting the case? Are we to believe that it is only a sham trial that they, uh, they secretly desire? To be sure, it is impossible to prosecute a case without having the ingredients of a fair hearing in place. So how can... That is to show you what um, um, this um, Baba here, what do they call it, doing Clark, within the talk. He said that Buhari did everything in his power to subjugate Igbos during his administration. So Igbos have been suffering marginalization, subjugation, oppression, margin, in fact, all sort of wickedness from the system of Nigeria. And it is glaring in the face or on our faces, everybody can see it. So it is not just coming on, on the media or coming on TV to say, oh, this country must unite Why you are your wickedness is, is, is showing red light. So you bomb Peking today with the trans small, small children, then they grow up, they see the treatment when the country they give them, and they hear that there is something like secession, there's something like calling for a referendum to divide. You think they won't follow that path when you are subjugating the Igbos, oppressing them and doing everything against them? Do you now see it? So it is not even uh, somebody from uh, Southeast that is saying it. It is Pa Edwin Clark that is saying it. And the same thing is happening on the case of Mazen and the Kano in this Tinubu's administration. Do you see that? These antics are further evidence that the case against Mazen and the Kano lacks merit. Hence, the reason every avenue for a fair hearing is being blocked. If the AGF through the DSS are apprehensive of the fell consequences of a fair trial, then they need to do the need for by discontinuing this case without further ado. Otherwise, Mazen Namdekano and his legal team will re resist any trial that is against the tenant of the constitution. The lawyers insisted that they will not, they will not be part of any sham trial against the IPOB leader. They will resist it in every way. So this is the reason why this case is remaining is being elongated because the Nigerian government they don't say and say if they give Mazen Namdekano and his lawyers opportunity they will fire them away because they don't have any power to try the case which is the, the, the what the the appeal court observed and say no leave this man make it a waka to go in papa and mama house because we do not have the the power we don't have the jurisdiction to try him. But despite that ruling, Nigerian government and the court have refused to obey simple court orders, which is where we have arrived uh, today. No time to waste time. Make I take on, a, on other places. See and hear. By doing clerk, now they talk out. Say, Buari, Buari oppressed Igbos. Buari subjected Igbos to inhuman, inhuman treatment during his uh, administration. And that has resulted in fact, the, the treatment has escaped into Tinubu's administration with things like this going on because the DSS people there are, 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 are not working on themselves. They are not on their own. I know that DSS does not have the power not to obey court orders, but powers from above. Don't, don't allow them to enter there. Yes, sir. What, will, will they say no? No, because they are under instructions. So that is why. So all these things coming from the DSS, coming from all these army people, they are not doing it on their own. They are only being used as a tool to accomplish all these uh, illegalities and uh, uh, punishment. May I show now this video on waiting the army, they talk, say they don't uh, catch people far back. Now, following the killing of five personnel at the checkpoint in Aba, in Abia State, mm -hmm. Troops conducted several intelligence-based operations and these operations led to the discovery 
and destruction of several indigenous people of Biafra and their Eastern Security Network cohorts, terrorist camps across the Southeast region. Now, several arrests were made and those who were found not to have any connection with the incident were released, while several others, court people, are still in detention. A state with security troops of Sector 6 Operation World Punch have killed a notorious kidnapped bandit, Buhari Alaji. All right, all right. I'm on, I don't see, I'm now within the army, they talk who, based on what the um happened in aba they say that uh, several people have been uh, released let's 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 go to the church uh, for a while just uh, stay here let's go to the church and see what's going on there pay tight here now we need to help they don't help us all the church where they pay tight they don't worry them can you go to a, a priest in a lot of church and say are they so here therefore give me money it's a Pentecostal church you do that i knew the principle i knew what that with what is in your hand cannot solve your problem, there is a seed. <laughs> on other here, um, so why am I saying this? Is because those of on a way they find me church help on a uh, pastor don't finally respond. They say, if you don't give, you don't give and say you can no longer collect it, you cannot receive help from the church. Say, <laughs> you cannot say because you'll be a member, you they sow seed and tight that uh, you need help there. <laughs> say, Lori Ro, <laughs> but. May we play you this video for those of on a way be women, we be so now they collect money when I no go show up. See what I mm -hmm. I just play a phone now. I'm gonna hear her. All right, are you aware that as a guy, if you give a girl money for transport to come to your house and visit you and she fails to come or refuses to come or switch off her phone, it's a criminal offense okay. and she can go to jail. But if I tell you, you say it's a lie. So that's why I brought a very beautiful barrister here who is also a woman to tell us exactly what the law says about this barrister. Is it true that if a man gives a woman money for transportation to visit him and she refuses to come? Or perhaps off that phone and did not even reach out to the guy again. Is that a, 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 an offense? Is it a criminal offense? And, and is it punishable by law? Of course, it is a criminal offense and it is punishable under the laws of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. In fact, Chapter 38 of the Criminal Code actually emphasizes on this. Under that chapter, we have Section 1. Um, 418 to 420. So under section 419, yeah, yeah. 419. Yes, it is a criminal offense for you to defraud a person. It is seen as a as a fraud because that particular chapter talks about um obtaining by pretense, mm. obtaining property by false pretense, mm. or cheating somebody. Mm. So it therefore means that if you actually obtain a property that is capable of being stolen by a person with the intent of defrauding that person you're guilty of a felony and you're liable for a term of imprisonment for three years no, I mean, three years <laughs> boys some <laughs> ladies are going down this year three years imprisonment that's where you are going to under that particular section it also went down to say that if that thing is of value and is worth one thousand naira upward it therefore means that you are liable for a term of imprisonment for seven good years. Otilo, women, <laughs> you are going to prison this year for seven years. If you collect anybody transport and you don't visit the person, <laughs> guys, we meet in court. So, but now how do we go to the court? What do we tell the court? So, in practice now, if you bring such matter to court, and you, you will actually tell the court that this is what happened. You invited a girl to come visit you, or you invited a girl to go out on a lunch date with you, maybe on a date with you, and for some reason, she agreed, and all of a sudden, she turned off her phone, or she started giving excuses without coming, without any valuable excuse. After you have sent her money. After you have sent her money. Mm -hmm. Then you have every reason to bring the matter to court. It depends on the individual. Are you heartless enough? Are you tough enough to come to court and come and challenge this lady that she should refund you? Yes. And if you want, if she refunds you the money, do you, can you add charges? Can you, um, uh, how is it called? Um, compensation. Compensation, yeah. Yes, you can actually tell the court because this is a criminal offense. It's actually not a civil suit per se. So you can actually tell the court that at 
Wahala di. <laughs> so, 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 na no yara. As it be, we go another news. I think I don't fish out. <laughs> Wahala too much. So, those of you who want some money, go ask this year. I beg. We can download tap tap send. Use them. Now, be the Bunge app where you go use. Take send money, go Nigeria. And they will give you bonus if you use my promo code. Will be critics news like five pounds, five euro, and the ten dollars plus a uh, United Arab Emirates money. They go add them on top of your own twenty five. Wow, that's a good news. I beg make when I download them. Even if not once, you won't use them. It's okay. Just use them once because of me. <laughs> Thank you.